Hello YouTube, this is the fat guy with a little haul video. I haven't done a haul video in a while, so let's have some fun. As you can tell, I have upgraded my uh, webcam and I've upgraded my microphone. I am now using an HD webcam from Logitech and I am now using the Yeti mic uh, for better voice. The only thing is, it's raining outside so my lighting is not the greatest, so it's a little dark. And I'm sorry about that, and I am running OBS to record this video while watching it on the screen to see how it turns out. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I got a small haul video. Uh, I went down to the Salvation Army today, 50 cent turnover, and I did, sorry about that, and I decided to take a look and buy a few things and I bought a few other non-clothing items. And I think I spent only $14. Always a good deal when you walk into a store and walk out for under 20 bucks. Sorry, I'm picking my ear. I know it's not right. So let's start with some of the items that cost me a little bit more. Uh, I don't think there was an item today I paid more than a dollar for. So let's start with the dollar items. Uh, I went down there and they had some really cool uh, hats. Uh, this is a yellow Goodyear hat, snapback. Don't know if these are worth anything. I just bought them because they're good year. Uh, again, uh, these are adjustable. But it's two more. Sorry. They're in a bag because it's raining and the tag just got stuck on the bag. Okay. Now here's another good year hat. New with tag. Paid a buck but it's only an adjustable hat. May lower the value. Uh, same hat, used dollar. You know, I'm hoping at least 10 bucks a piece on them. We'll see what happens. Uh, then for a dollar, I got one of my uh, bread and butter items. Uh, by bread and butter, it's a category, not this item. Don't think I've sold this one before, but I usually do well with uh, curlers, especially ones with a detachable barrel. But this is a Helen of Troy professional uh, curling brush. Uh, it is one of the uh, curling drying brushes uh, or dry brush that uh, you know dries your hair as you're combing so it's a pretty cool thing and I think it can be used for curling irons. I really don't know. I paid a buck for it. They seem to sell anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars so we'll see what I get for it. Uh, Then I picked up some more curlers. Uh, one is a red and black travel set for Revlon with clips. Paid a buck. Uh, this one sells anywhere from 10 to 20. I may just list these at the $20 mark and see if I get it. Uh, they'll go first class, but they're really heavy, so it's close. Uh, another dollar item, this is the black set with black clips, hair clips. Again, 10 to 20 bucks. We'll see what happens with them. A buck a piece, not a huge gamble uh, for a decent profit. Now, basically what's left is just clothes. I bought a bunch of 50 cent clothes and here, let's have some fun. Some of these I bought the, for the design, some the label, some just because I wanted to. So when it comes to 50 cent clothes, I usually don't sweat it if it's a dud. It's 50 cents. You live, you learn. And in my book, if you have to pay 50 cents to learn a lesson, you got off cheap. But first off is this really, I'm going to call it kind of a cool uh, little cute design uh, from uh, East 5th. It's just a... Uh, short sleeve shirt that has a ruffle design on the front. Don't know, I didn't look this one up, I just like the design. You know, 50 cents, why not? Then again, I picked up a Arkansas Razorback tagless t-shirt. Uh, again, I don't know if this is worth any money, but even if I could sell it for 10 bucks, I'll make profit off of it. I usually like Razorback items because I live in Arkansas. I don't do sports, I don't do any of that, but I usually have a good following for Razorback items. So I usually pick them up if they're cheap and not the mass-produced knickknacks that 
Walmart sells for 30 bucks that sell on eBay for like five. You know, t-shirts and stuff you use or wear, I usually try to pick up if it's cheap. Next is a dress I just thought was really cool. Uh, this is from Breaking Loose, uh, made in Guatemala, but it's just a slender floral dress. It's got white, tan, and green. And the green really adds some good, oh, green is the only non-brown color here. So when the green shows, it pops. Uh, it is a size six, so we'll see if that's worth anything. 50 cent gamble, why not? And I usually do okay with dresses. Uh, next is an item I bought mainly because of two factors. Never heard of the brand. I did a little research and they seem to sell a low, the brand seems to sell okay. And it's made in Canada. Uh, this is a citrine jacket and boy is it I think it's ugly but you know someone will probably like it you know it got an old timey feel to it you know it feels like you know it's a hipster kind of thing maybe I really don't know uh, but you know I paid 50 cents we'll see what happens uh, another item is a pair of pants now I'm gonna fold them up and show you that on the bottom of the legs is a nice flower design of pink, green, and white. And inside of each flower is some beads that I guess signifies the uh, middle. But these are from a company called Ali Y. Uh, these are a size eight made in Macau. Now they're just a basic pair of pants, but I bought them because of the design on the cuff. Okay, you got really light in my photo. That's good. Means the camera's doing its job. I think it upgraded the uh, quality for the shot. So, woo. Okay, it's doing it because of the pants. So, we'll see what happens. I'm sorry the light is like this. I may try to just cheat it, but we'll see. Okay, another thing is a dress. Uh, prom, I think, was really, you know, really... Uh, early this year and I picked up a snap kind of prom style dress uh, if the light flickering up and down is annoying I'm sorry I don't know how to set that I will probably find a way to do it but this is just a simple black pink dress with uh, some flowers on the front it is a size 9 don't know what this brand sells but it was 50 cents for a cool looking dress uh, another pair of pants I bought. Sorry if I'm yelling. I, I know my voice is fluctuating and I'm sorry. It's just I got a really bad headache right now for some reason or another. I really don't know why. So, I got a pair of City Streets black denim stretch jeans. These are stretch. These are, they don't have a zipper in them. They're a size 7.9. But they're just a pair of basic black jeans. That's all. I got them because they're that. Basic black stretch jeans. Uh, you know, I might be able to get 10 bucks out of them. We'll see what happens. Uh, another item I got mainly just because of the design on it. I usually don't do good with vests, especially women's vests. Once in a while, though, I'll get lucky and sell one or two. But I picked up this really interesting... Uh, women's vest has some really nice uh, photos that are, look like they were stitched in on this thing uh, and it is old I don't, well I don't know if this one's old it's from a company called Back Road Blues uh, it is made in the USA with a and it is considered an XL it's 100% acetite uh, for the trim, 55% cotton, 45% polyester for the uh, body. Made in USA, even has a UPC number on the tag. So uh, we'll see what it looks at doing research. But I usually like picking up these made in USA older clothing items. Even if they're not older and made in USA, they're still fun to play because you don't find made in USA much anymore. And usually that point alone sells the item. Not always, but sometimes. Uh, then I picked up a bunch of these uh, 
basic collar. Uh, forgot the dang name one sec. Uh, okay, I forgot the name, but you wear it as a nurse or someone who works at a hospital. Scrubs. That's it. These are just some basic scrubs. I picked up three pair, or three pair top and bottom for a dollar a set, 50 cents a top and bottom. Uh, again, I'll probably just lot them together and sell them as a lot for like 25, 30 bucks. Because uh, they're all the same size, they're all in good condition. So, you know, turning a few bucks into, you know, a $20 bill is not bad. More scrubbies. Okay. Now, this one is the interesting one. Uh, this is from a company called BCBO Max Az Azria. These, this one is made in China. It is a size 12, and again, it looks like a basic prom dress. But this brand does sell. Size 12, not so much, but I did not see another dress like this yet. And some of these dresses can go for well over $100. Uh, used, by the way. Of course, those look like the uh, cocktail, dinner party, uh, dress, dressy kind of dress, not the uh, prom style dresses. But even then, I might be able to get 20 to 30 bucks out of it, if not more, once I do a little bit more research. Again, 50 cents into 20, 30 bucks, not a bad day. And the last clothing item of the day. <sighs> Again, I bought this, I did not look it up, but I bought it because it also claims made in Canada. It's just another jacket, made in Canada, women's big buttoned. Uh, jacket but it's from a line called pink tartan and this is an ugly jacket as well it's got these old patches on here that you know like suede patches on the sleeve the old school style uh, crisses and crosses and a uh, it looks like a suede or a felt kind of liner for the neck it, it, it looks tacky and Someone will probably want that. I don't know what it will sell for, but again, I paid 50 cents. Now, my whole haul only cost me about $14, which is really good when one, when in most of this, one item will pay for the whole lot. And usually when you can do that, when you walk into a store, walk out, and one item sells, and the profit from it can cover your entire purchase, you know you did a great day of shopping for resale. This is the fat guy. I am out of here for now, and I'm probably going to go grab me a soda because I probably just got a caffeine headache. So everybody, please have a great day. I am, like always, the fat guy.